Okay, so this video is going, going to be about the best way to boost a Facebook post. And uh, that method is to, I mean, this could be debatable. Some people might not agree with this, but um, there's some nice advantages to doing it this way. And the way is to first create a uh, blog post on your website. Um, and you could use a, a it doesn't have to be a blog post, it could just be a website page as well. Um, so what you do then is you copy the URL. Now I'm on a blog post here and this is the, the blog post I'm actually putting this video into. So you can just click up here and copy the URL of your blog post or your website page. And this would be the page that people would go to when they click your Facebook ad, okay? Um, and then, over on your Facebook page, you just paste it right in, paste that link in. And then that fetches preview. See how that fetched the post? Um, and it fetched it just the way it's got this nice big headline here. It pulled in the featured image from the page. If you don't have a featured image on your uh, website page, it will pull in any image or the, probably the first image it finds on the page. If there isn't any images there, then it probably won't pull any image in at all. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more that, about that in a minute. Um, now notice here that you cannot change the title or the description here. Now it used to be that you could do that, but because of some of the fake news and fake posts that were ha happening with Facebook, they, they stopped allowing you to do that. But there are some workarounds on that. But you can change this, and you would want to change this up here. So I would go over to the, uh, the blog post maybe, and um, probably just copy the first couple of sentences here, and paste those in here. Or you might want to type something here. It might be somewhat important what this says. It, it is important. Uh, the first thing that people are probably going to be drawn to though is the headline, the picture and the headline. So this is really the most important part to begin with. Um, this could probably just be kind of uh, redundant up here. Um, you could even, you know, just put one sentence there. Uh, it's debatable on what you would put up here, but uh, this is the most important part here. Okay. Now, how do we get these exactly the way we want them and where does this come from? Let's take a look back at the post again. And if I go in to edit the post, I'm using a, a plugin by Yoast. It's called Yoast SEO. Uh, and if I scroll down, if that, this is, would be only if you're using WordPress, now you can use this plugin. And um, you can use this, uh, this edit snippet area to, to put whatever you want into this part and this this is what Facebook will pull from then if you're using this Yoast SEO plugin in WordPress. Uh, otherwise it'll just be the page title um, of your page if you're not using WordPress and then the the meta description. Uh, but here you can control it if you're using WordPress and you're using this Yoast SEO plugin you can control what's in here and in here and then you can also control um, well, the picture you can control by the featured image over here, for which is standard in in all face in all WordPress posts. Okay, and let's see here. Now, what if if you if you had this wrong, and you put this in, and you realized, oh, this is this isn't what I wanted it to say exactly. You want to change that a little bit. Then you can go back here and change this again and save it. Um, and but then you need to flush the Facebook cache. And there's a there's another way to do that too. And that's kind of, that's kind of a separate topic. Uh, uh, if you got questions about that, let me know and I'll I'll answer that question. But um, but basically this is how you do it. Then it gives you it still gives you good control over it. It used to be easier. Like I said, you used to be able to just change it right here when you're. Um, uh, creating the post but now you can't do that so you've got to get it right over here first and then it'll pull it in right the way you want it to okay 
All right, and for a little bit more information about the best way to boost a post on Facebook, check out my blog post here on databay.com, www.databay.com, uh, and just look for this blog post here, the best way to boost a post on Facebook. And I go into a little more detail on a couple of other things <clears throat> about, um, part of it is about using the, the boost post button and whether you should do that or not, and some of the settings that uh, can make a big difference when you boost a post. All right, so this is uh, uh, just some really good tips about what to do when boosting a post here. All right, thanks for watching.